Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be telling you about the use of independent sample t-test and how we can use this test for hypothesis testing. The independent sample t-test as we all know is very useful to measure the significant difference among two groups of variables. In this video, I'll be tal talking about if you have two groups and you want to see if there is any significant difference exist among these two groups, how you will use the statistical techniques through SPSS to find this difference. For example, I have given if we want to know the online shopping behavior across male and female customers. For example, if I say the online shopping behavior does not significantly differ or if I want to say that there is no significant difference in the male and female online shopping behavior. So if I want to test this hypothesis or if I want to find the difference among the shopping behavior, how we will use the t-test for this analysis. Now, in my last video, I have told you how you can develop a SPSS file and the link is provided in the description if you want to learn how you can transfer the data from a questionnaire to a SPSS file. Now when you transfer all the data in the SPSS file, it will look like this. Now this is SPSS 22 and the later versions you will find in this form. If you use the SPSS 16 or lower versions of SPSS, you may find some of the icons may not be visible. Now in the variable view you will see there is gender that male or female and we have some demo questions. So for this example I have taken only four questions or the items of the questionnaire where I am trying to ask the male and female customers that how much comfortable they are while shopping. So my statement is I am not comfortable with the online shopping and I have asked this question for male and female customers. Now if you go to the data view you will find online shopping and we have some responses here and this is the gender 1 and 2. In the values if you click here you will find male and female and here the responses from strongly agree to strongly we will first try to go to graphs chart builder you will click ok and this screen will appear in front of you now here go to bar line we will go to histogram okay because here we are trying to compare the uh, shopping experience behavior or shopping behavior online shopping behavior for male and female customers so click here population parameter and drag up it will appear like this now <clears throat> here you will find two rectangles split variables means this data which you want to analyze what are the parameters for which you want to evaluate this data that's called the split variable so we want to split the variables on the basis of gender now here one more thing you should see when you right click you have so many options you can display the variable names like gender online shopping like online shopping use and purchasing or if you change the display variables it will show the language of your items of the questionnaire okay 
so i am not comfortable with the online shopping this is the statement first statement for of the questionnaire so it's showing here what i want i want to display the variable names so i want to split the variables on the basis of gender so what i'll do i'll drag it and place it here and leave it now distribution variable is i want to split distribution variable what is the variable for the distribution i'll put it here now i want online shopping so drag it place it here and leave now you have a diagram in front of you a chart which will show male or female consumers or the gender of the consumers male and female i'm not comfortable with online shopping it's on both side vertically and in this graph you can see pictorically that there is a difference you can check females and male you can find that there is some difference exist their behavior is not same so it is the pictorial representation of the behavior of male and female consumers now what we will do we will try to verify this and for verification we will go to analyze and from analyze we will go to compare means independent sample t test reset it now what is your grouping variable our grouping variable is the male and female and what we want to measure we can go for one by one also like i want to test this one here also you can change the display variables or the statement so i want to check the online shopping click it here and you can leave other options as it is when you click gender it will ask you to define we have defined one and two for male and female click okay and you have the output now in the output it will show that the n the total number of responses male and female they are approximately equal mean standard deviation and error we will not go into the details of this table we will see independent sample t test table here we will look two tailed significance now it is showing that significant difference exist because the significant level is less than 0.05 so we have significant difference if we have a hypothesis saying there is no significant difference exist in terms of shopping experience or if you want to say among the male and female we will say no there is significant difference so we will be able to test our hypothesis in this way this significant difference is visible here in the chart you can see that there is a difference okay so male they are responding in a different way and females they are responding in a different way so here we can verify that there is a significant difference and it is visible in this chart similarly again we will go to analyze and you can <coughs> compare means and in this independent sample t test now i took one variable you can take all together same and do the analysis now here you have the output and in the output you will find that for first statement there is significant difference for second item of the questionnaire or the second statement it is more than 0.05 so there is no significant difference okay so let's verify it by the graph so for what for that what we will do see in spss 22 and the later versions you have this special icon here you click it and you can find the recent used tab so click here chart bar click ok it's visible in front of you reset it and again you drag it and leave it here 
split variables are same male and female but this time I want to check for the second statement drag it and leave it click OK and you will find here so we can verify that this statistical results in statistics it is showing that the value is more than 0 0.05 so the overall I think online shopping plays an important role during COVID-19 pandemic if this is the question so for this there is no significant difference it means that if we have a hypothesis saying that there is no significant difference in terms of their shopping behavior related to the importance during the COVID-19 pandemic so this hypothesis is accepted there is no significant difference because the value is more than 0 0.05 and it is also visible here in the graph you can find there is no significant differences there same way we can test for the third statement which says I like online shopping to stay safe during COVID-19 pandemic we find there is a significant difference okay so let's see we'll go back here chart click OK reset we will drag it here our split variables are same and here we will go to I like shopping the third statement click OK and my data it is saying again see there is a significant difference male and female we can find there is a significant difference in terms of our third statement or the third hypothesis so in this way we can test and it is verified in statistics it is showing there is a significant difference same results are shown in the graph also now if we test for the fourth one I plan to buy things online so for this I find exactly the same values for the two tail test it is saying it is insignificant because the value is more than 0 0.05 so for this fourth statement also we will go back here graph select ok reset it drag place it male female same and this is the fourth statement and click ok so in this way you have another chart which says there is no significant difference okay so there is no significant difference exists for the fourth statement and if you go to the output there is no significant difference so in this way you can test your hypothesis by using the t-test it is called the independent sample t-test which is the very basic way or very simple process for testing the hypothesis I hope you have understood the process of testing hypothesis using t-test and if you have any questions any queries you can comment below if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe it thank you for watching